Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is Realize here, and today I'm going to be playing Silt. So, all I really know about Silt is that it's a horror underwater game, and that's pretty much it. So, let's just get into it. Let's see what we have to do. I do know that there's big sea creatures from, like, the trailers and stuff, but I don't know the moments. I don't know the story. I don't even know if there is a story. I really have no idea what this is about, so... Let's see what it's about. This looks like it's a big ship underwater. Oh, that's the title of the game. Thank you. We're just going to sit on the title. Just staring at the title for a while. I think it's trying to... Is this in the sky or is this in the sea? I think it's in the sea. In endless depths, Goliaths roam. Beneath the waves and crashing foam. Hunt them down, remove their eyes. For this is where their power lies. A great machine lies deep in wait. Awaken it to seal your fate. Thank you for coming to Poetry Night. Do I have to click a button? I don't know. I don't know if it's because I clicked it or if it was just assuming that I was a very slow reader. Ooh, that's me. That's me. I've played Ebzu, which is an underwater game, but it's more in the likes of Journey, which is pretty much you're not in any danger. So I could possess sea creatures with B. Oh, okay. That must be my little wire. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh. There, I did it. Can I eat my leg? <gasps> oh, no. Wait, I'm dead? I nibbled on my leg. I'm not dead. <laughs> oh, no. That must mean that if anything bites you at all, then you're just immediately dead. Okay. Well, now we know. I did get a trophy for that, called Masochist. Okay, there we go. I'm playing this game with a controller. People said that the movement was better for a controller and I could feel that now. Seems like you need all the ranges of movement. Is there a way to speed up? I'm assuming the game will teach me if I need to speed up. I think I... I think A speeds it up. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm bad. Oh, wait. I'm controlling the fish? How did I do that? What am I doing? Oh. So I can... Oh. So I can be small sea creatures to get into small areas... And then go and possess a bigger sea creature by continuing the possession. This is making sense. It's making sense so far. There we go. Nom. Nom. Do I even have to bite it? Yes, I do. Nom. There we go. Onwards. Into the deep sea. I don't think these guys attack me. Oh, yeah, no. He just told... We just ran into each other and he did not attack me. I think by holding A... I just go a little faster. Oh, would you look at that? Just said that. What are you? There's no way that this is like taking place in Earth because I've never seen these sea creatures on Earth. That's for sure. From what I can gather is we possess other sea creatures and it looks like we're gonna have to be solving puzzles or something i don't know if this is like a solving puzzles sort of game or if this is just a survival game until the end i honestly have no idea ow okay so some sea creatures are definitely dangerous would you look at that back at the beginning wait a second 
what if I can... I'm gonna possess the... Oh, okay. Clearly, I was supposed to go this way. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yo. Oh, wait a second. So, it seems that if a bigger sea creature... Or if a smaller sea creature is eaten by a bigger sea creature, then I become that bigger sea creature. Like this little dude got eaten by the hammerhead looking guy. And I became the hammerhead. That's pretty cool. I think this game's only like two hours long, so this might be three or four videos, depending on how good I am. From what I could tell so far, I am not very good. What is this? Is this like a heart? There's hammerhead sharks all over the place. I'm assuming all of these animals have resemblances to real life creatures. They're just not exactly the same creatures. Okay. Oh, look at that. You could see, like, my life force being taken. Am I going to have to protect myself? Maybe these guys don't attack each other because they're the same species. This looks like a point where I could break to progress. Would you know it? Oh, wait. We actually can't have this guy. Okay, never mind. He got out of the way. I'm pretty sure that was the only way. That looks like the smallest area that I could be in. This looks like it is a big sea creature's mouth. That's not good. Oh man, I could tell that this game is going to scare me already. Games like this have a tendency to scare me. Stuff like Subnautica. Subnautica wasn't too scary for me. Abzu was not scary for me because it was kind of chill the whole time. But Subnautica was scary at times for me. I'm just following the light, I guess. Following the light into the unknown. Maybe I'll find a shark friend like I did in Abzu. But I guess it wouldn't be a shark. Oh, lamp? That's cool. Onwards. Ooh, what is that? Can I possess that? No, I can't! Okay. Good to know. It needs to specify what I can... <laughs> what I can possess and what I can't possess. All I've learned so far is I can possess every sea creature no matter how big or, or strong looking like the hammerhead sharks. And now, all of a sudden, I can't possess these little dudes. And look at them. There's so many of them. Eat each other. Eat each other! What? That's not cool. That's not cool. You know what? I'm just gonna have to try, okay? I'm tired of messing around. Okay. Okay. Next time. I got it next time. You'd think after five tries, I would have this down. You know what? I just need to follow the light. I just need to follow the light exactly. The line. The line that the light's going in, that's the, that's the line that I need to go in. Wouldn't you know it. The light never steers me wrong. The light never steers you wrong. You always just follow the light. The light could never steer me wrong. Am I supposed to... I saw those other dudes. <laughs> those snake dudes ran away. Why? My cam doesn't let me go further right. Dude, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. I'm out. I'm out. What? I understand. Ah! Okay. It really wants me to go into that light there, doesn't it? We're going this way. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. That wasn't so bad. You see? The light never does steer you wrong. It always steers you right. Ah! What? Can I possess him? No. Fantastic. Is he gonna chase me? Is he gonna chase me? Ooh. You scared me. You're a big creature there, aren't you? Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna go this way. I can't. Uh... So, you see, I just kind of ended up here. What the hell? <laughs> what happened? What was that? Okay. Honestly. <gasps> yes! I did it. I'm a hero. I'm nom nom. I'm nom nom. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But there's nothing I can do. So I would assume that there's some sort of of limit here, right? With how far I can go? Wait a second. Remember when I said if a bigger predator eats a smaller predator, you become that predator? Does that still apply? Or wait, do I die? He didn't eat me. Can you see me? Okay. So I don't die. So clearly, we want to bait him now to attacking this rock. Yes. Go away. So why do I even want to be this guy anymore if... I thought I was going to have to use this guy to break away. Maybe this guy's here just to be a threat. Hello there. There we go. The threat is gone. Hi. Are you me? Okay, well, I saw that, dude. <laughs> I saw that. Stop! That's what I thought, man. That's what I thought. I can't reach up that far, can I? I have to go back up, and I have to get a piranha, dude. To break the chains. But this will lead me back to... a. My previous question, can I just go unlimited distance? Can I just go unlimited distance? Seemingly, I could go pretty far. And I can't even... Well, I tried, right? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Come on, what do you want me to do? Oh, I totally need this guy, don't I? <gasps> Wait. Did you see that? I, I went it into his eye, and it worked. Okay, so I was able to possess this guy by going directly into his eye. But I, I don't know what that did. I don't know if that made me more powerful or if that increased my possession time or what. But... Okay, honestly... I cannot see. You know? I'm willing to bet 
that that increased how strong my possessions are and I can now possess this guy no I was wrong okay new plan can I go down no can I go left no can you help me please I need your help interesting can I maybe get him to it doesn't make sense why I would be able to move this I don't understand why I would be able to move that without breaking it makes me think that if I lead this guy look at that oh do I have to uh, give it a little nudge again yeah oh wait why don't I just bait him into biting the spike again oh no Yes. Oh, I'm collecting all his life force. This is so weird. I'm sharing like a life force with all these sea creatures. Oh, yeah. In, in our poem, it said that their eyes are their weak points. <clears throat> so that must be where they're like life force or, or energy comes from I have no idea am I still in the sea <clears throat> whoa man I hate just being so deep in the sea like this nowhere to go Is that moving? Okay. I'm so confused on how front I am. Like, am I... Will I go behind this or in front of it? That's not a sea creature, right? Yo, this is the ship from the beginning of the game. Oh, well, that's helpful. Now, isn't it? Now, I don't think... Going in is going to be particularly useful to me. But it seems to really want me <laughs> to go this way. So I'm going to go this way. Is there going to be like an opening? An automatic door maybe? Of course not. I can't go. Oh. Why did it just now <laughs> Why did it just now trigger the cutscene cuz I cuz I got close to the middle? Why thank you. I had the right idea just in the wrong spot. Perfect. Well, this seems a little dangerous. Okay. Presumably, this is a safe spot, but I don't know. Look at that. There's a bunch of helmets with my... There's a bunch of helmets just like mine. Maybe there was a bunch of other divers and... We all came to explore this different planet or something and they're all dead except me I don't know I haven't gotten an explanation yet but I'm sure I will get one wait that's me let's go fulfill the position go fulfill the position let's fulfill the prophecy there we go I'm fulfilling the prophecy. Yes. The prophecy has been fulfilled. 
I can now transform into a dragon fish at will. Maybe. Okay. That was interesting. The game has a tendency to do this quite a bit, huh? We're just looking at one thing, and it's just slowly zooming out. Maybe it's trying to show the vastness of the ocean? Oh, perfect. Thank you for the explanation of what, <laughs> of what just happened and how I got here. Wait a second. Is this not the first area again? Or is this another area? You know, honestly, I have no idea. But that's okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, why is there a piranha plant for Mario? Come on. Come on. I need one of these little fishies. I need one of these little fishies to be my bait. You there. Oh, wow. The whole... The whole colony's following along. All of us. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's do what we were meant to do. Your sacrifice, little fishes, were worth it. To me, at least. Thank you. Oh, wow. These look like... Those little spearfish. Can I kill these plants with it? No, I can't. Ow. Well, I guess that won't never hurt me because it wasn't me. It was an extension of myself. Well, clearly somebody needs to get through there and it's not gonna be me. Maybe it has to be me. I'm just... Going up. Okay, well, I don't understand why these fish are here if they're just... There. They're just there to be there, I guess. They're just there to be square. Look at that faster than the fastest fish around. Those piranha plants didn't even see it coming. Wow! A tree! Underwater! Are those water worms? They're like earthworms, but for water. The only answer is yes, of course. So, these are gnomes from Little Nightmares. That. Never mind. Those are very clearly bird people. They're bird people. I, I mistook their, their gnome shaped heads for beaks. Or I mistook their... What is happening? It's the same thing, except... I have this giant worm on my freaking head. There's no point to this. Guys! Oh, wait. Maybe I could feed the gnomes. Or the bird people. Here you go, gnome. Thank you. Satisfied, young one? 
Ah, yes. Only three more bird people to go. Perhaps another worm will spawn somewhere. I could be- I could see it if my camera wasn't intent on zooming in the action to see how effortlessly I am swimming underwater here. Where are the worms? Well, goodbye. Maybe I have to go find worms from different places and I have to bring them back to feed these gnomes. Come on, guys. On my mark. We're racing, okay? Ready, set, go! Man. Clearly, I can't be beat. Oh, look at that. This one's even faster. As far as I could tell, this area is pointless. Ow! Okay, well, clearly, that was the wrong thing to do. Clearly, I was supposed to get one of those light fish and then scare off all those other fish. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think that I'm not very good at this game. Does this guy have a headlamp? He does not. So all these other fish are scared of these guys. I don't want to be you. I want to be him. Yes. Where's my character? Oh, there he is. Get off. Away. Let's get them all away. And then. Bam. Bam. These fish are very friendly, and I appreciate that. Why, thank you, fish. Can you take me to your fish master? Why is this it? <laughs> Why is this it to the area? I don't understand. Please. Give me a worm. I need to feed thy bur people, thy bird people, otherwise known as gnomes. This is madness. This is madness. <gasps> Worm! Yeah! And if those guys even try to mess with me, then this worm is going to have a stern talking to them. So clearly the strategy is just to, <laughs> you just move around and like kick him off you. <clears throat> this guy's being very nice. He's just escorting me. Now that was an escort mission right there by that other fish. He escorted me successfully. Would any of you gnomes like a, a worm? There you go. You're welcome, you gnome. I need to feed your gnome brother and sisters. Perhaps you know where other worms are? I'm asking for a friend. Oh yes. The great player of worms. Perhaps I can possess him and, and play a song. It, for some reason, has decided to play very creepy music on what looks like a mouse playing an instrument for some reason. Ah, 
Okay, well, you know, I don't like this in particular. But... There must be a puzzle to solve, and if there's a puzzle to solve, there's someone like me who's gonna solve it. This is not a puzzle. More like a death maze. And if I touch the sides, I assume <laughs> I would get impaled and die because the slightest touch of anything seems to kill me. But that's okay. They don't call me the maze master for nothing. And would you look at that? Almost home free. They think they're cool. But that was easy. I will control another one of me. I'm going over here because I don't know where else to go. Oh, I thought that was a wall that I was going to have to find a creature to break. Nope. I can just go right through. I'm going to have to take this slowly. I see the line. I see the speed running line. Yes! Home free! Home free! Yeah! I did it. Oh. Never mind. Let's recruit the rest of them. Recruit every fish we can. We need them all for one last push. Go, men, go! Okay. A good start. A lot of our fish made it. No, guys, no! What don't these fish understand? Wait. Can we attack? Oh, wait, you know what? This is poison down here, isn't it? All our fish are dying slowly, but we're all infected with a little bit of poison. Perfect. I did not know that I could poison my fish. Now let's get these worms, or this worm, into the mouth of a gnome. A hungry gnome who has no doubt been starving for months in his tree. Ah yes, how could I forget? The mouse playing an instrument. I don't know what instrument that is. I don't even know if that is an instrument. That just sounds like an air horn. You're like, anyways. Who's hungry? I've already fed you. I'm going to feed the one at the top. Hello, gnome. Worm, perhaps? You're welcome. One more. One more gnome. Until freedom. We will win our freedom and the fish's freedom. Now there is clearly a worm hiding up here. We just need to find him. No doubt the hardest puzzle in the game is right here right now i don't know the point of having these fish here i think it's just for me to test out what's going on and see the line you know what i want to poison this fish i want to poison this fish and see what's going on. So it seems 
that nothing is going on. But yet, everything is going on. Yes! Yes! Who would have known? By far, the hardest puzzle in this game was that one right then and there. The last and final worm has been added. Let's get out of here. Cue the mission completed music. While we feed our final gnome. Let's see what happens to the tree. It's kind of sad. Knowing that this is the last gnome I'll ever get a feed with alien worms. Otherwise known as water worms. Where am I going? I don't know, but something's about to happen. Is this in itself a giant sea creature? Ah, oh, yes. Obviously, I mistook. Obviously, I've mistaken this tree for a giant octopus with tree trunks as limbs. How could I be so dumb? How could I be so dumb? So clearly, we just want to poison <laughs> all these fish. Clearly, we just want to poison all these fish and then feed them to them. I feel like this one's fairly obvious. Would you like to eat me now? Or is that not happening? You know, let's go recruit some more fish. Fishies, come on, fishies. Look at that, they're all poisoned. He's had enough. He's had enough. Or maybe I'm supposed to sacrifice my fish life and save all of Fishlandia. Any more fish? Men, this will be your last mission. You have served the fish king well. Say goodbye, men. He's had enough. He's had enough. Kraken tree. That's what this one's called. So it seems like I'm not trying to necessarily survive these sea creatures. I'm trying to absorb their life force and kill them. That's what I've gathered so far. This weird triangle thing's happening. And I don't know where I am. Because I am the triangle. I have shape-shifted into a shape of a triangle. Clearly... I'm going to move right, and that is going to take me back to the mothership. I just gotta follow the fish. The fish would never steer me wrong. Yes, there is the ship. I knew these fish would never steer me wrong. So far, I have not gathered any lore or any meaning to this game whatsoever. But I fed gnomes water worms. And that's a 10 out of 10 right there. What more could I ask for? Game of the year, right here. The second I saw those gnomes sticking out of that tree, I knew this would be my favorite game of all time. Nothing can beat feeding gnomes water worms. The only thing that could be even crazier is seeing another mouse playing an, an instrument. That's the only thing that could make this crazier. It's as if the lights 
are telling me where to go. Maybe I'll enter this door. Nope. Maybe I'll go down. Yes, I will go down. My favorite part about this game is how the loading screen is a triangle with a spiral in it with deer horns coming from it. What could be better than that? Now clearly, I will gain the power of gnomes now. And what more could I ask for than having the power of gnomes? Yes! Give me the power of gnomes! What more could anyone ask for? Again, I'm zooming out, except this time, something's happening. Ooh, something's happening this time. Oh, I do not like that. I do not like that. So it looks like there's only one more. So instead of making another video, we're going to finish it right here, right now. It's happening right here, right now. This game will be beat. Now, one thing I saw was on that third ornament thing, the sea creature we're seemingly facing is a spider with crab claws at the end. Now, I don't know what they do, but I don't need to know what they do to know that I do not want to do whatever the game wants me to do to fight it. Now, clearly... I have learned teleportation. Any man's dream. Now, why is this useful? Who knows? But it doesn't matter why it's useful. Because that's not important. It's not important why teleportation would be useful. It's important that we could teleport. Maybe you need to teleport past here. And flip the switch. No. You do not want to flip the switch. You want to instead... Become an electric eel. And power the switch. Nope. Not that either. And that's obviously, of course... Because we want to power the machine. Yes. The machine was the key all along. All the problems that we've been facing, all these sea creatures, were because of this oil pump here. Meaning that this game is actually telling us about oil. So, we need to calm down on that oil. Now, now we can flip the switch. All we need to do is use our trusty teleporting buddy that we just killed with the other eel. And we need to do something to him. No, we need to possess the switch. Who possesses fish when you can possess the switch? What's better, being a fish or being a switch? That's the real question here. These fish are clearly more afraid of me than I am of it. And these eels are clearly not afraid of me in the slightest. Another switch. Opening another door. What other twists and turns could this game have waiting for me? I oh, thought you could get me, but you couldn't, could you? I'm too fast. This is clearly supposed to be intense because I'm supposed to like be running from the electric eel but I just possessed him right off the bat, so there we go. 
Another switch? Could my dreams ever have gotten any better than this? Three. Three back-to-back -back switches. This is exhilarating. This is fantastic. I'm not excited for this. Oh, no. What did I say? The crab fish. Or the... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was watching a cutscene forcibly, and you kill me? No, you didn't kill me. You just electrocuted me. What? Yeah. Can I eat him? Hum nom nom. How do I eat? Okay. I have a feeling that... This will not hurt me because of my shell. Thought so. No. No. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. Four back-to-back -back switches. This game couldn't get any better. This game could not, in any way, get any better. My hopes for this game... They're no longer hopes. They're... Dreams that became a reality. I clearly need one of these guys to break the machine again. I want to go up there with my fish friend. Friends! This was all a ruse. I will be the fish king! No, they would not. Is that another switch that I see there? Man. My expectations coming into this game were, were not this good. I didn't think that five switches could happen. This is truly game breaking, game changing kind of stuff here. Who would have thought? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna possess the last and maybe final switch. Five switches in one level. This couldn't get any better. This could not get any better. Wow, my, my crab fish dude is actually Taking the elevator up. Up the ladder. Or up the elevator. He just hitched a ride back to his fish friends. I also have no idea if these guys are friendly or not. <laughs> no way. I get to do it again to activate it again. Yes. I honestly hope that every game I ever play ever again is filled to the brim with switches. And I mean that. I mean that. You are not going to help. Okay. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to shred you to bits to jam this machine. No. It just did nothing. Okay, I'm clearly supposed to be here with my guy, but I don't know how to get there with my guy. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad his life gets to continue. Now this is a switch. That's a mega ultra switch right there. I wanted to be in the elevator too! You're telling me. No, you better not jump. 
You better not jump. Come here, man. Come here. Yes. I knew it. I knew it. I'm out of here for good this time. Maybe. Unless there's like a final ultra boss fight after these three. But we'll just see for ourselves. Using our new found skills of levers. I think that I've been very enlightened on how to defeat a spider crab boss. Wow, another switch. Okay, let's do it. Maybe it'll activate something that'll get all these parasites away. Oh, it did. It's killed them all. The only thing with that is I do not know. Maybe I could swim against it. You can do it. I believe in you. Slowly but surely, he is making progress. Very, very slowly, but very surely, he is making progress upwards. We will do this. We can do this. If not for us, for all your dead leech brothers and sisters, I just need this little crab, dude. That's all I need. I'M FREE! hi -ya! Whoa! Are you telling me? That those crap- I clearly can't make this work. I need to... Grab onto this thing here. I'm sorry. This will hurt you significantly more than it'll hurt me. <clears throat> Goodbye. Sorry. It had to be done. <laughs> oh. He's totally fine, isn't he? Can I go down here too? Oh. I think I'm supposed to go down there. We're out of here. We're gonna go fight this crab boss once and for all. We have successfully conquered the ocean. We're the first human to conquer the ocean. Not only have we conquered the ocean, but I would also say we have discovered every possible ocean creature known to man in this planet. I don't think that's far-fetched. I think that's true. Oh. Okay, well, I thought this was a sea creature. I was clearly mistaken because this is obviously a machine. So where I think this game is getting at is that these aren't sea creatures, but maybe man-made machines. Which is interesting and totally possible. Okay. I just have to cut the wires in the most inconvenient of places, huh? I can't cut them in the middle. I have to cut them at the very end. Now, I know there is some... Some more... On the left side. I totally want to eat this guy. I'm sorry. I had to do it. Oh my goodness. He's marching fast. He's hungry, hungry. It's like hungry, hungry hippos. Oh my goodness. He'll eat his brothers if he has to. You. Power up this machine. Yeah. Oh, wait, dude. I'm right there. No. No. I'm down there. 
I'm literally... Well, why would you do that, huh? Was that nice? No. It wasn't. So why? Why'd you have to go and do that, huh? That's what we call mean, okay? We don't like that stuff here. I clearly think that the strategy is getting this guy to zap this. Getting this guy. Kind of annoying that we can't teleport out of here without this guy dying. Wait, I'm totally in the vicinity of that. Die, young machine creature. Die. Wait, do I need to electric shock those parts or something? Here, I want to be this fish. Why swim? Why swim when I could just not swim? Oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm too big for that, aren't I? I'm sorry, young fish. Your sacrifice may not be worth it. But I'll remember you. Don't worry. <clears throat> I need to be an electric fish. And then I will swim out of here and electric shock him. Okay? I have brought the eel here. And I have come to hurt this guy. Yes. Oh. That's significantly more brutal <laughs> than it needed to be. Oh well. Let's go. Into the depths. That one was less of a fight and more like a puzzle. Would you look at that? The achievement was actually called Spider Crab. That's funny because I totally made up him being a spider that had like crab limbs, but it turned out that I was totally correct. We will absorb the seemingly third and final one only about an hour and a half into the game. From what I saw, this game was like two hours, but I don't know. Maybe we're done with it already. This is my final transformation into a triangle. Clearly my favorite shape. It's my loading little thing. It's, it's my shape that I transform into. I need those fishies to guide me. Where to fish? Where to? Well, as far as I could tell, there was only three little ornament things of little bosses or sea creatures that we needed to possess. And as far as I could tell, the first one was a real sea creature. The second one was a, a real sea creature, or like a mutated one. And the third one was a machine. Okay, don't know if there's like a little dude inside of here this time. I would assume not. I need to do my final transformation into a spider crab. It must be past these doors. 
These doors lead to the final key. The final key to the puzzle. The final piece. Yes. Yes. I have done it. I am a spider crab. Look at that. This one is totally machine. You could see like the wiring on here. I wonder what's going to happen now that we have all three of them lit up. Is it going to be able to power our ship like to get out of here or something? Because I think there's chains. Unless we control a big sea creature and bite the chains off. Or if we control a hundred piranhas and bite the chains off. Either way. Oh, look at that. They're all going to connect. But it looks like there's a fourth connecting one on the bottom. Dun, dun, dun. No? Maybe. I have no idea. I'm still here. I'm still in this planet. Oh, I need a piranha. That is why they are over there. So this surely must be the final level because... There is only four connectors leading to the main console thing. So, this should be... The final level and the final boss. Ah! Okay, well, what did you want me to do there? What did you want me to do there? Okay, well, on second thought, I feel like I totally should have saw that. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see that, to be honest. It's okay. We just need to be a piranha. Well, how did that make you feel? Was that nice? Was that nice? Piranha. Piranha. Come here, piranha. Oh, he respawned. Well, well, well. What do we have here? You missed. <laughs> okay. Clearly. I think I need a teleporter fish. Now the real question. Is how do I get a teleporter fish? Ooh, it does, just barely. Whew, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Too fast. I am just too freaking fast. And what do you do? I'm sorry. How was I supposed to know? That you were going to blow up like that. Who would have known? Who would have thought? You know what? Screw that. Now let's go get a teleporting fish. That way. Come on. <laughs> Was I really that close? Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to risk it. Woo! Okay, let me go. Yes.
I freaking hate those guys. Oh, I'm back at the f at the start. There we go. All that just for one piranha, huh? It's okay. This fourth boss. That's a sea snake. Well, we're going to have to do it. Whoo! I got the jukes. Ooh, I am too slick with it. Another one? Ooh, not today. Not today. Man. I mean, I thought I was good at flipping switches, but I'm just good in general. So... Hello. You're friendly to every sea creature. Except me. Interesting. That's kind of mean, man. That's really mean, to be honest. I'm gonna be quite honest. I don't really appreciate that, man. That you're nice to every sea creature. Except me. What's so bad about me, huh? Now I'm following him. Yes. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. I just gotta wait till he's about to attack and then... Kablooey! Bam. I've beat the game. Almost. Now I just need a piranha fish. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. And now we're ready to commence the chase sequence. Ooh. The jukes. The jukes. Now I can just follow these guys. And... There we go. Wait, I'm sorry. Was the whole point of that? <laughs> oh, okay. So the whole point of that was just to get down here then. What's down here? Yes. The exploding things. These will probably totally kill me, by the way. Oh, would you look at that? Bam. I'm sorry. You ran into me. No, it better not restart me all the way back there. Okay, good. I was thinking that it might restart me all the way back and have to do the chase sequence all over again, but nope. Watch the cutscene once again. Swim down here. And continue my journey. This game's pretty good. I like it. I, I noticed that there is a lack of any story. But, that's okay. Doesn't really matter. Okay, I don't know why he didn't just eat him. So is he like, 
dead now? Or is he gonna come back? Oh. Ah! Well, what was the point of that? Is the point... Wow. I don't understand. Why? Dude! I didn't even touch him. I think my fin touched him a little bit. Dude. He's... He's chasing me. <laughs> You're not supposed to be chasing me. You know what? Just for that. You're gonna die. I'm sorry. Come on! So it seems like the longer they're alive, the longer they can reach? Okay, well, obviously my intention was not to blow myself up. I think I made that so- I think I made that very clear. <laughs> Unfortunately for me. Who needs those exploding dudes anyways? Okay. Come on, man. Like, oh my goodness, then if he, even if he nicks my fin, I die. Okay. I see how it is. Dang it. You know what? I have a plan. What if I go and blow up the bottom explosive thingy at the beginning? Right now. There we go. Then I'll just blow you up. I'll just use you to go blow up this one right here. That way, hopefully, we don't have too many problems. Now, all we have to worry about is them catching me. Whew. Oh, my goodness. So, that is clearly the strategy right there. I have made the path clear. Of those explody dudes. So. Now all I have to do is use my gamer skills. To stay away from these guys. And. There we go. We did it. Those explosive things. Were harder. Than the actual chase things. Well. What are you? Oh, wait, can I, like, can I, like, do something to each one of these? No. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna try to go to the right. And hopefully we can see what's going on. I don't think this will kill me, but I don't want to test it. So. Oh, would you look at that? What if I just blow it up? Oh, hey, would you look at that? I haven't seen one of those guys in a long time. I'm so glad that that did nothing. What? No way. I want to get an exploding fish caught in there. Grab my teleportation fish. Grab this fish. Bam, he's trapped. Now I want to grab you. 
And I'm sorry, Light. But I have to. There we go. Simple enough. Then we'll just go ahead and uh, quickly dive down here. After blowing... Or maybe we don't... Yeah, no, we're going to have to blow you up, aren't we? And... Bam. Just very quickly while we go and greet this guy. Let's go. Headlamp that. Does not help very much. Now we have to go to the left side. Do the... Do maybe the same thing? Or another puzzle. Which will then allow us... To... Go... Into this... Thing? We've entered the left. And... Doesn't look like it's the same... Thing. It looks like it's a similar thing, but not the same exact thing. So let's see. Let's test it out. Oh, well. Why can't I? There we go. Wait, so I have to make both of these mushrooms grow? How do I do that? Can I be at like a distance that makes both of them grow? No, doesn't look like it. Wait a second. What about my headlamp? Would that do it? It does. Look at me being intelligent well all I need to do is fixate this guy on one lamp anyway anyways because I've got the other one is he gonna attack me now he did he didn't kill me, but enough to damage me. And now we're safe over these little, little vines, I guess. So it's completely opened. Maybe it's going to release the final enemy. It does. What is this, dude? Oh, no. It's a flower. Okay, well, I don't know exactly. <gasps> you didn't. How could you freaking do that to me, man? Oh, I'm so ready for you now. I'm ready for you now. Shoot it at me. Shoot it. Shoot it. Think you're cool by shooting multiple? Okay, maybe we should be a little careful because it's shooting like three of them. And this time presumably would be the last time I have to hit it, so. Okay. Oh, wait! I freaking knew it. Okay. So for the third one, he doesn't stop after two times. They just keep shooting non-stop. So we need to grab this first one here and just absolutely charge him. Oh no. Oh dude, you freaking ran into it.
Did we do it? I think we did it. Yes, we did. He's down. I wonder if I'm moving right now. Oh, yes, I am. We got him. Our final energy absorb. Let's absorb his energy. Yes. Am I going to do it? Am I going to do it one final time? Am I going to become a triangle? Yes! I'm a triangle! The fourth and final boss. This one felt like an actual boss. The other ones felt like puzzles. Now I think I just need to go where the fishies lead me. Where are you, fishies? Looks like they're going up, so I'm gonna go up. Except these aren't the fishies, these are just the little triangle things. The fishies are over here. Okay, everything's going up, so I'm just gonna follow it. There are the fishies. Yep, they're all going up. The fishies have never steered me wrong. What if this game just ended of me absolutely dying to like a ginormous sea creature? Oh, there it is. There's the ship. We gotta go get in the ship. And then... We've got to do the transformation for the fourth time. And then that should link all four corners. And in the middle. That will open up a gate back to Earth. Of course, all our scientists have been working on this day in and day out. This is what it was all for. This gate back to Earth. I've got the speedrun strats. All you have to do is hold the sprint button and follow the lamps. Ooh, I cut in. I got in. Yes. My speed running strats. To the left, to the left. We've got to open up that gate back to Earth as quickly as possible. Okay. There we go. We're glowing, that means we're close. Or we're here. Yes, we're here! The final one. The final shift! Yes! All the switches. All the elevators. All the death has been worth it. All so we can open up this gate back to Earth. I actually have no idea if that is the story, or if it is part of the story, but we're about to find out right here. With this dramatic zoom out sequence showing all four gates being awakened with one middle. There's the fourth gate that was on the bottom. Unless this was the middle gate. No, that was the fourth gate. Just the game didn't show us the fourth gate, which I should have known because there is four sides to the ship. So now thinking about it, it makes sense. Is it gonna glow in the middle? Yes. Wait, is it gonna blow it up? I'm in there. Am I in there? Maybe I was a figment of my imagination the whole time. Wait, actually the chains aren't holding me to the ground or anything I don't think. I think the chains are holding the ship together. I actually have no idea. Anyways, cogs are turning. Things are happening right now. Things are happening right now. We've got to see what's going on. Am I moving? Oh, it's opening. It's all opening. Wow. Yes. Bring us back home to Earth. This was secretly a spaceship the whole time. 
It must be. Unless a giant sea creature is gonna eat our ship, which is also plausible, I guess. Nope. Nothing. It just saves. Interesting. I like that ending a lot. I like that ending. Oh, there's a bunch of us. There's a bunch of us. With one big sea creature, just like at the beginning. That was a pretty good game. I enjoyed it. It was about two and a half hours long. The ending consisted of us opening our spaceship or ship of some sort and then exploring with hundreds of divers every single one of the creatures we killed. So I don't get the <laughs> I don't get what happened, but there was more of us, I guess. Hundreds. But yeah guys, that was Silt, so the ending was kind of confusing, as in, it didn't make much sense, but I did enjoy the game, even if it didn't have much of a story, I enjoyed solving the puzzles and seeing the sea creatures and stuff, and this game is still fairly new, so there might be updates or, or DLC content and stuff like that, but make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below if you liked the video, leave any feedback or anything, and I'll see you in the next one, peace out.